what's up you guys and welcome back to another video if you are new here i'm qb welcome to my channel i hope you are here to stay and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support so today's wig is going to be sponsored by asteria hair and they sent me this wig and if you guys want to see how i style this wig and how i installed it and my opinion about this wig then keep on watching Okay, so first things first, when I got this wig, I went ahead and I bleached the knots and I also went ahead and plucked it um, just so it can give a little, you know, scalp once I install it. And this wig is their straight hair 13 by 4 HD lace frontal wig and it comes in the length 24 inches. So right now I'm just going ahead and I'm combing the hair and just seeing how the hair lays on me and then I'm going to go ahead with my hot comb and just basically make sure that the hair is flat so it can make it easier for me to install. And now I'm going ahead and I'm cutting the um, ear tabs. So basically I wanna create like a nice little side uh, sideburn. So I'm going ahead and I'm cutting out um, the lace so it can go behind my ear. So it's a little bit easier and comfortable for me. And now I'm going in and I'm cutting in three layers on the lace itself. And I'm doing this because it just makes it a little bit easier to install by doing it by section. So now I'm taking my Erica J lace glue and I'm going to go ahead and just smudge that all over in between my cap and my forehead. And I usually do about like two layers of this glue. I mean it really really sticks really well. And then I go ahead and I put my lace down on the glue. And afterwards, as you can see, I'm just combing it to just make sure that it's melted. And then I move on to the next section. And honestly, this lace was really, really impressive. It was a HD lace frontal and it was just so impressive. Like I really loved how it was just melting into my scalp. And now I'm just going an extra mile and I'm going ahead with my hot comb again to just make sure that the lace is melted into my scalp and the heat from the um the heat from the hot comb basically just ensures that. And now I'm going ahead and I'm using the melting band that they gave me and I'm going to go ahead and just tie that down and then just hot comb some more because one thing about me, I keep my hot comb around when I'm installing my wig because it just makes it flat and you can never hot comb too much. Just keep hot combing and trust me, your wig is going to be laid. And as you can see, it looks really, really good and now we're going to move on to cutting the lace. So I'm taking my scissors and I'm just going ahead and pulling the lace up a little bit to just make sure I'm cutting, you know, in the right direction. And um, I usually like to cut in zigzag motions and I like to really take my time with this process because I don't want to cut, you know, too much hair or anything, but I just want to make sure that it's cut close to the hair as possible. And now I'm taking my 91% alcohol and I'm just going ahead and cleaning off the residue of the glue on my forehead that the lace did not melt onto. And then we're going to move on to uh, foundation. I like to go ahead and use foundation on my lace just to get it a little bit more closer to my skin tone and just get rid of that white lace. And as you guys can see, the lace is melted and it looks really, really good so far. 
Now I'm just taking my silk scarf and I'm gonna go ahead and tie my hairline down just to further melt the lace. And y'all, I was actually traveling this day to Mexico, so I had to finish my install when I got to Mexico because I just didn't have enough time. All right, guys, so we are back, and I'm just going to go ahead and finish up my hair. We are in Mexico. As you can see, my makeup is done. We are ready to go. And now we are going to jump right into the hot comb once again just to get everything really flat. So I went ahead and did a middle part and now I'm just taking my wax stick and I'm going ahead and putting that on the hair and I'm going to go ahead and use my hot comb once again and I'm going to go ahead and flatten the hair even further. And as you can see the wax stick really gives that nice shine. I really really love this product and you know the essence of keeping your wig flat is just to have a really really good wax stick or gel and a hot comb. All right, so we are moving on to our baby hairs. I'm going ahead and I'm just doing the regular, regular baby hairs. I usually just do four, um, two by my forehead and then just my sideburns. Now I'm going ahead and I'm curling my baby hairs up and then I'm going to go ahead and use my Alpha G mousse to lay them down. I also like to go in with my Style Factor edge control and I usually like to just lay them down even further because it just helps to make the edges like stick more like the baby hairs. It makes it just really get, you know, hard and it stays on your forehead all day. Guys, don't be afraid to go ahead and just like trim the baby hairs if you need to. Like, you know, you just have to perfect it. So it's a process. So you really have to perfect it as you go. And that is the complete look of the baby hairs. I really was just so impressed with this hair. And I went ahead and just, you know, used my silk scarf again to just tie the baby hairs down one last time just so they can, you know, really melt into my scalp and um, also dry up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and prepare to fly iron this hair. And as you guys can see, the hair is already looking so silky and so nice. Like it literally looks like a fresh perm, you know, a fresh blowout or whatever. But I went ahead and used my heat protectant because I really like the shiny look on a bust down straight wig. So I went ahead and used that. And then I used my fly iron and just ran through it. Like I didn't even go track by track because you really don't need that. Like the hair is already straight itself. So I just really had to just pull it out, fly iron it, and the hair was just doing its thing. Like it was just so natural, so cute. The hair was very shiny, like the luster was just giving, like the hair was really, really soft. Like I really just loved the process of this wig. Like the wig didn't give me a hard time at all. Like I was able to just customize this wig and install it in no time. And I'm just showing you guys how nice and flowy this wig is. Like, it really moves, y'all. It really, really moves. Like, it gives body. The lace was giving. The HD lace was everything. Like, you really can't even see the lace. Like, it was just, it was just too good. It was too good. I really, really enjoyed installing this wig. 
and I'm not gonna lie this was like literally one of my favorite straight wigs like I've reviewed a couple of straight wigs and I think this by far is my favorite it was really thick and really luscious um I was running my fingers through it constantly it was so nice um it was very shiny very soft like if you want to buy this wig trust me it's so worth it so freaking worth it so check out my description in the box below um let me know what you guys think about this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye